Hey, this is Steve Domenico from Domenico 101 MMA, and today I have on Aaron Shortfuse Hughes, who's coming off his first Amy win at Ammo Fight League number three, No Man's Land, this past Saturday. How you doing there, Aaron? And welcome to the show, and how you feeling, buddy, coming off uh, you know, your first win as an Amy brother? Um, I'm doing great, man. I'm actually really excited to be on your show right now. So. Oh. Oh, well, I'm excited to have you on and talk about this, but thank you. Thanks for coming on. Awesome. No problem. Man. <laughs> now, you're coming off this fight for ammo. Um, a great, about a minute and 46 second uh, triangle choke finish. Um, let's talk about this fight and uh, what led you to get on this card and, uh, and, and how you felt having your first win as an AMI. You fought featherweight, correct? 145 pounds? Uh, it was that. Well- uh, catch weight of 150. Are you usually as a featherweight you want to stay or can you fluctuate between uh, you know maybe lightweight and featherweight? Uh, I'm probably just going to stay at 145. Excellent. Um, I, I don't think I'll ever be able to make 35. That was the goal when I first started but now I'm just a fat kid. So. Well, no, well you're growing too so and you got some thick legs on you I've seen that I mean uh, so you know what I mean yeah 135 but you look damn good at you know 150. Now um Going into this fight, it looks like you had a cancel bout. Was this a last minute uh, opponent that opponent change that you got? Yeah, so I was actually supposed to fight on the October seventh um, ammo card, and then my opponent got injured, um, couldn't find me someone else, and so then the whole card got canceled. Yep. My teammate Sean Rigo was actually supposed to fight Randy Francis um, on Saturday, but he ended up breaking his leg in training. So my coach was like, hey, do you, you want to step in? And I was like, let me see if I can get the days off work. I was able to get them off, and then I, I stepped in on 10 days' notice. Excellent. So you were you were already in fight camp anyway because you, you, you thought you had that fight on the 7th. This kind of worked out for you because your fight fell through, and then you got a last-minute opponent fighting one of your training partner's uh, opponents, and you went in there and finished them. So how did you feel about this fight, and what did you feel in this fight compared to, um, you know, you, you, uh, your last fight? Because you were coming off a loss for uh, Cage Titans, and now you just you got your first Amy win. So let's talk about uh, the difference between, you know, fighting for Cage Titans and, you know, a few months later here in Ammo. So Cage Titans, like, is probably the best show around for, like, amateur fighters, but there's so many people there, and I get, like, extremely nervous on like fight night so i was like okay i really need to fight for a smaller show get some confidence up and that's exactly what ammo provided for me so excellent yeah i know what you mean uh you know uh uh plymouth memorial hall that's always packed um a lot of a lot of fans of uh you know fighters are there so sometimes i mean yeah i talk to a lot of fighters and the young fighters that yeah that crowd that crowd can have a little bit on uh, have some uh some effect on your fighting so uh let's talk about that and like what you were saying so how 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 was the difference between both shows and the feeling in the cage honestly like i get extremely nervous on fight night and on saturday i wasn't even nervous <laughs> I was just hanging out in the back room, just just chilling. I was just ready to go, and like getting that first shot finished is nothing else like it. Like I still am, like still can't believe that I just won a fist fight on Saturday night. You know, it's crazy. And the cool thing about it is, it started as a fist fight. Um, you know, it looked great on the on the feet. A lot of action in that first you know minute or so. Uh, you know, you're throwing some leg kicks at this kid, and uh, he he decided to take you down when he caught one of those kicks, and it looked like you got him in uh, that almost that triangle position uh, uh, pretty quick when you hit the ground. Yeah, honestly, I didn't even see the triangle choke. Um, I actually heard his corner say, "Hey, watch out, watch out for the triangle." <laughs> and as soon as he said that, I was like, "Oh shit, there's a triangle here." Yeah. And then I took it, and then I mean. It was kind of controversial. He said he didn't tap, but the referee must have stopped it for some reason. So yeah, the referee you know. stopped it. Yeah, I mean, hey, you got to keep going till the you know once the ref stops it, that's a fight. And uh, you know, it, he that that triangle was deep. He wasn't getting out of that thing. So uh, and it was early in the round too. So 
Um, whether he, he said he tapped or not, uh, on camera, it looked like that was locked up. So uh, that's a win for you, brother. Oh, no, yeah, for sure, man, for sure. Now, you're fighting out of regiment. You said you've been there a couple of, a couple of years. Um, what's the, I got a, a, a few fighter friends that talk highly of you, and they're basically saying you, you are the, 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 the most improved fighter out there, young fighter out there. Um, and it seems that way. Like you talked about, like maybe the crowd got you a little bit. Because I've checked out a couple of your past fights, and it looks like you're in the game. Uh, but you just you lost it a little bit, made a mistake, and uh, you know your opponent took advantage of it. So it, it's all a learning experience. You are an Amy. You're only 23 years old, uh, and you're doing the right thing. You you know you thought to yourself, maybe I should fight on a. a uh, a less of a card, get more, you know a little more experience, build my confidence up in front of the big crowd, and you did it. You had this win, you had a big win. It's all over social media. You got a lot of backing, a lot of fans, a lot of people that have faith in you. So what are you looking for now? Now that you got this big win, you're kind of high. You're, you're high on social media. It was a quick finish. What are you looking for now? Uh, 2018 is coming quick. What, what's going on with Aaron Short Fuse now? So, by the end of 2018, I would like to fight for a belt. I don't care what promotion. Um, there's like four people who I want to fight right now that I'm like keeping my eye on. So, if I'm able to fight one of those four by the end of 2018, that'll be good. That's awesome. I mean, you fought, uh, this was actually, you fought four times, three times on Cage Titans, correct? Yeah, three times for Cage Titans. And then you went to Ammo and you had your most success for a smaller crowd. Are you looking for the same uh, the same kind of venue? Are you looking for maybe another smaller uh, smaller regional uh, you know fight promotion like Ammo in 2018, or you think you can jump back into Cage Titans and uh, make a name for yourself with a win there? Um. So I, I I'm pretty sure I'll be fighting in January. It's either going to be for Cage Titans or for reality fighting excellent um, we just haven't really decided who's who we're gonna fight for yet so uh, a couple of them fighters that you were you know cu- talking about that you want to fight in uh, 2018 they might be on that card that might be uh, you might be getting your wish on there correct um I think I might be able to fight one of them for reality fighting or two of them for reality fighting but I know one of them is from New Hampshire and I don't know if I'll be able to fight the other one again because I don't think because like, I already fought him once. Yeah. So I don't think that fight's going to happen again. But Well, you never know. I like to really run it back. In the future, like I was going to talk to you about that. Now, since, you know, now that you got this win under your belt, you're going to be on a winning streak. You are on a winning streak. Um, are you, I was going to ask you, you looking for redemption on them fights you lost? I mean, you, you could always meet these guys in the pros down the line. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> um, you know, I know. You know, it's a small. You know, New England's small, so you lose to someone around the area. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of talk online afterwards, uh, bragging rights and stuff like that. And you know, it's not easier for a New England fighter to, you know, uh, be defeated by another New England fighter because they got to hear the shit online and stuff. But dude. Um, you know, I love it. It, it, it. it chatters it up for the next fight. If you ever do rematch at one of these, one of these dudes, or it just it makes your next fight all, all that much better. So it's showing them, dude, I'm on my way up again. Come and come and find me this time. So, um, so 2018 is probably going to be Aaron the Short Fuse's uh, breakout year, I would imagine, huh? Hope so, man. Hope yeah. so. Trying now, to get back in there as soon as possible. Yeah, and that's the thing. Stay in there. Stay hungry. Uh, you got that feeling of the win. Uh, keep it going, brother. I, I support it. I want to see you in there as soon as possible. If, if you're healthy, your coaches are saying, let's go for it, Aaron. Jump in there and bang, man, because, you know, your last fight looked very impressive. Uh, definitely on the ground, um, on your feet. You're 5'9". Uh, that's pretty good length for a featherweight. Uh, and, uh, and, you know... Social media is high on you on this win, so you have a lot of backing. My buddy uh, Brian Rossi was talking about you today that you're the most improved fighter out there that he's seen. Ah, and uh, Brian you know, Rossi. I I That's love man right there. yeah, I love that dude, man. I love that dude. Uh, talk to him all the time. Very, he's very he knows a lot about fighting and especially New England fighters because he's trained with so many of them. So he knows, uh, you know, he knows. So I I I value his word, and if he says. 
uh, Aaron Short Fuse is uh, the best improved, and watch out for this kid. He's a beast. I'm going to watch out for you, my friend. So, um, uh, last thing, I just I, we got a couple of more minutes here. I want to ask you a little bit about your camp and who got you ready for this fight. You said uh, you talked about your, you know, your training partner that was supposed to fight um, Randy. Uh, who do, who do you train with down at uh, Regiment? Who really gets uh, who really gets you going? So. I have really four main training partners. So I train at CST with uh, Chris Mutino and Richie Santiago there you as go. well. Awesome. Love uh, them dudes. Love them dudes. My my main camp, I have uh, Mitch Raposo. He's a 25er. He's probably like the best 125er in New England. He's only 18. Um, he's a 2 0 Amy. Awesome. Then I have. Pat, uh, Pat McCrohan, he's a two and one pro. He's actually fighting. He's, he's tomorrow fight. He's season. fighting tomorrow. I might see. I'm going to see him at weigh-ins today. Yeah, um, he's like he's a great wrestler. So I work a lot of takedown defense with him. Um, you can see from my first fight where I got taken down at will to my last two fights where I like it's very hard for people to take me down. Um, and then I got Jorgen DeCastro, who's just a savage uh, kickboxer. Um, and then I got my buddy Donovan Torres. He's also 18. Um, he's been training for a long time. He just hasn't made his de- debut yet. I think he's making his debut in March, probably for Ammo. So, Excellent. Those are my main training partners. And you've had ch- you have trained with some beasts in the past. Uh, in other gyms on your way out. So, you, dude, you, you, you're putting uh, the right people around you. You got young guys that are keeping you fresh. I mean, them guys, you know, you got you got uh, flyweights running around you, flying around you right away. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's going to make, you know, that's going to help you try to catch them little guys. And you got a veteran in uh, in uh, Pat who's fighting Friday night. I mean, how, you, how can you go wrong with that guy? Uh, great wrestler, like you said. Um, awesome on the ground grappling. He, you know, he seems to always be in a grind in his fights, and that that's the wrestling wrestler mentality. And he's handing that down, down to you. So, Aaron, I'm really high on that. I congratulate you on your first win for uh, for your Amy uh, featherweight. Uh, it was at 150 pounds, but you're staying at 145. A uh, great win. Um, I was very impressed. And when these guys start chattering about an up and coming fighter, I get to jump all about uh, all on it. And I have seen you. You've you know you got a couple of friends that are friends of mine. Uh, but n- now I'm high on you, so I'm going to be getting you out there. So last question, Aaron. Social media. How do we get in touch with you? Because I I check out your Facebook, dude. You're always posting cool shit. So shout that stuff out. Um. So you can add me on Facebook at Aaron Hughes. Um, you can follow my fan page at Aaron Short Hughes Hughes. Um, my Instagram is Aaron Hughes 145. And then you can follow me on, on Twitter at Aaron Hughes MMA. And then if you want to add me on Snapchat, it's Aaron Hughes 94. I post some funny ass shit on there. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. And for all you people out there, all you young fighters and Amis, did you hear this kid just now? The last one minute, he had everything set for his social media. This kid is getting it going. Um, you guys do the same. This kid, you know, Aaron, you know, Aaron, you're giving, you, you, you're showing the young kids how to do it, the younger guys, them 18-year-olds, they're going to look up to you down the line because social media is big. You're doing it. You're winning fights. Uh, you're big on social media. So, buddy, I can't wait to see you uh, 2018. I'll be all over it. And uh, make sure you call in and we can talk about that matchup. Yeah, man, try and get me up. On the podcast soon. Definitely, man. Uh, I'm, you know, when it's on, hey, say, Steve, can I call in? And, you know, as soon as I get off the phone, uh, uh, there I'll have you on. All right. And, and then, we, then we can talk live to maybe some of these guys you want to have a, a rematch with. <laughs> All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> All right, my maybe brother. I can call someone else. Definitely, definitely. Maybe this week. Maybe Wednesday. Come on. We'll, we'll see. We'll set it up. We'll talk. All right, my man. All right, brother. Aaron Short Fuse. Hughes uh, with his first Amy win this past Saturday at Ammo Fight League number three, No Man's Land. Look out for this kid on social media. He's all over it, and uh, New England's high on this new Amy. Amy. So um, from Domenico 101 MMA, uh, we'll see you later.